Well, I'm here in Yorkshire this morning for our Hidden Pictures walk. I'm in a forest in Nidderdale. Um, it's snowed a little bit um, and it's just getting on for New Year, 2015 upcoming. And I'm going to explore and look around with the camera to see if we can get some textures and shots that will give us some interesting and dramatic compositions. Just walking across here where there's a fallen tree and some misty white light coming through the tree tops at the end revealing some of the landscape in the distance. I'm going to try a couple of black and white shots here. I'm moving up now towards the main path so that we can get out towards where the sun is trying to come through today which might help our contrast a little on these shots so I'm going to make my way up to the path now as we walk up you can see that there are many trees being blown over in the recent gales these are very tall conifers susceptible to high winds and some of these roots and uh, debris can make some nice shots I'm going to try a color one here Here you can see how the snow has added some uh, contrast in effect to some of the uh, structures around us. Although it's a coating of white, it isn't, it isn't actually light that's doing it. It does give us the effect of bright light shining, say, on this tree in front. And uh, it also brightens up the scene with a little bit more texture. Today we're going to be looking at ways we can use the snow, as mentioned earlier, to enhance our shots and use the sunshine, if you're lucky enough to get some today, which we are, the way it changes the colours and contrasts and hues of each of our shots as we take them. Uh, it's very interesting now that uh, there's patches of sun appearing. Here you can see in this scene the way the snow has icing sugared the ground, given us some fabulous um, textures. And we've still got autumn colours over there, in that right in the centre of the picture, that looks like a bit of beech tree. Don't know quite how it's growing there, but so the snow is really helping us right now. Well, just coming out of the forest part now, in this lovely place near Swinstey Reservoir. We're higher up, overlooking Swinstey Reservoir. Um, we should soon see, be able to see some water. And uh, here you can see how the light is now helping to define some of the shapes in the woodland. And I'll try a couple of shots from here. As I now walk down to close to the part of the Swinstead Reservoir edge, you can see how the warm colours in the distance are now helping to uh, complement the cooler effects of this snow and the blue shadows surrounding 
me in this forestry part. And I should, I'm in search now of some different types of shots which may include a little bit of sunshine on the trees. There's a lovely variety of trees here, from Scots pine to silver birches to other conifers. Um, it's a really nice variation of uh, lovely evergreen and coniferous trees in this area. Well worth a visit. Given that there's so much in the way of contrast of these trees in their different uh, leaf structures, I'm going to do some close-ups just for textures. It's often quite good to try and get the sun coming through the trees here, but you need to watch what light you let into the camera as I'm pushing here towards the sun coming through this forest. Not far, about an hour and a half, two hours to sundown. Um, it's worth trying to catch it because, once again, it's an unusual light. I'll take a few shots here. Well, I'm on my way back to the car park now. 35 minutes or 40 minutes in minus two or three degrees is probably enough for anyone. And I'm feeling it on my fingertips, but it was really worth the effort to come out and look at these lovely, these lovely woods with this first snowfall up here in Yorkshire near Swinstead Reservoir.